Welcome to the Brains Magazine podcast. This podcast is hosted by thought leaders and experts. They have all been handpicked and invited to contribute because of their knowledge and valuable insight within the areas of business, mindset, leadership, and lifestyle. Whether you're starting a business, looking for personal growth, or if you're just here to learn something new, you will get actionable advice from world-class award-winning coaches, experts, and industry leaders from over 50 countries across six continents. If you like what you hear, make sure you never miss an episode by clicking the subscribe button. You can also visit us at brainsmagazine.com for quality articles, interviews, and daily inspiration. With that said, let's welcome today's podcast host. My name is Hannah Hermanson, and I'll be your host for the Brains podcast today. This episode originally appeared on the Feminine Marketing Show. The place where you can learn all about nailing your marketing strategy and growing your business in a fun, fresh, and feminine way. As the CEO of the Feminine Marketing Boutique and an expert vacationer, I'm here to let you in on how to align your marketing strategy with the vision of your highest queen self. You know, the one who manifests high vibe clients easily and prioritizes pleasure and play. Stop chasing and start attracting. It's the feminine principle that's missing from your marketing. And if you wanna play the energy game with us, I'll be here every week with my best advice, trainings, and mindset shifts so you can grow your business with ease, integrity, and so much joy. Do you also love school supplies? Like no matter your age or the season, it just feels so good to have like gel pens and puppy calendars and fresh college ruled notebooks, right? And today is the day I want you to treat yourself and go get your favorite school supplies, writing utensils or app. I know some of you do these sorts of visioning exercises on a computer in a, in a digital way. Oh, but for me, I just love putting these sorts of things up on the windows with a dry erase board or a whiteboard or colorful paper because we are going to tap into your radiant vision. And I truly want you to sit down with this episode and put pen to paper or gel pen to notepad because we are going to take a step back and help you work on the business, on the vision. And again, tune back into your radiant vision for the business and the life that you are creating and enjoying. And this might sound like, oh, this is, you know, like a class, <laughs> but I'm telling you it's going to be fun and gel penny because today we are going to map out your annual marketing plan. That's right. Annual marketing plan. You are ready, my friend. This is not just for big corporations or people who have teams of marketing directors and creative. And this is for you, too. Whether you are still a solopreneur, you have a small and mighty team, and you're looking to grow and expand and maximize not just your team and your money, but also your freedom, this is the exercise and the podcast episode for you. And let's remember, when we talk about annual marketing plans, it does not matter what day your year starts on. In fact, I love using the summertime when the days are long and my inspiration is popping <laughs> and my vacations are flowing. This is the time of year I actually really like to take a step back and look at the vision and create annual plans and then use the new year or the holidays to review and iterate and celebrate and keep going. Um, so don't feel like we're you have to be here on a certain day. You can create your annual marketing plan any day. And perhaps today is the day you're in the right place. I'm going to walk you through the five steps to creating an annual marketing plan that affords you freedom. When we talk about feminine marketing, there's an essential masculine structure component to affording and allowing the female creativity and opportunities to come to fruition. If you have been on some of my other 
events or podcasts, you might have heard this metaphor before, but it's such a good reminder for us to look at the balance between masculine and feminine energy by looking at our coffee cup. Okay. I truly have a cup of joe here with me. And I think about the masculine and feminine energy a lot. (laughs) It's part of the work that I do in the world. And I drink coffee on the daily. And I think about how grateful I am for the structure of a coffee cup and having something to hold the beautiful libation that lives within is so essential. If I didn't have a coffee cup and I only had coffee, I would literally have a hot mess on my desk right now. And that's what happens when feminine energy doesn't have a masculine structure. We need the coffee cup. We need the masculine structure to hold us, to give us support, to give us direction, to have something to rely on. It's just that we kind of took it to the extreme and like made everything over masculinated and forgot to like pour the feminine energy, to pour the coffee into the cup, to like fully enjoy the experience of balance, of masculine and feminine energy, of a cup of coffee. Because of this masculine structure coffee cup, I don't have a hot mess on my desk. I have a beautiful artisanal blend of protein and almond milk and Costco decaf and regular coffee grounds. Like all of that is in my blend here. And the feminine energy thrive is delicious, is savored when it's in the masculine structure. So I know it's fun and easy and maybe in some places appropriate to talk about breaking down fat, the structures and masculine ways of being. There's a time and a place for that. and. We need some structure in order to have the feminine principles come to fruition and blossom. So today's conversation is the foundation for you setting up your business with feminine energy. We do need structure. We do need action. And then we get to show up because that structure affords us freedom. Okay. So today's going to feel like, yeah, we're taking notes. We're writing things down. We're making a plan so that the feminine energy can flow into your business like it never has before, truly. We're seeing this in our business and our clients' businesses when we start out by mapping out the annual marketing plan for maximum ease. And of course, there's so much joy along the way. So do you have your school supplies ready, friend? You ready for this? We're going to dive right in. And I have tons of resources along the way. So be sure that you are also tuning into the show notes for resources that you can really start to plug and play this information with. So starting your radiant vision. One of the first things that I want us to identify and embrace before we even pull out the calendar or start using our pens is what we're here for, what we're signing up for. There are so many different ways to run a business, to earn money, to contribute to the world. And if you are like me, you are a lifestyle entrepreneur. My mantra has been dream life is real life and lead with lifestyle for years because I'm playing the game to maximize fun, freedom, and flexibility. I know that I have gifts. I know that I can contribute in really big ways. And I know that in that flywheel of creation and sharing, it spits out. There's a potential for me to win the prizes of fun, freedom, and flexibility. And if you're like me, your dream life looks like three to four enjoyable days of work each week, meaning that the majority of your life is not work. You're doing other things. You're raising a family. You're traveling the world. You're writing books. You're adopting children. I don't know. You're just not working all of the time, which is another business model you could choose. So in order to be this lifestyle entrepreneur, you are enjoying part-time work because you have a strong and nimble team, typically three to 12 people who are so on board with you. They're earning healthy incomes. They have a shared vision for what you also are here for, and they live in their zone of genius. They get to support you by being better at things than you are and moving your mission forward. And you've definitely embraced that we are living in special times. You know we can make money, have fun, travel, and deliver great value to others. You're letting go of the old paradigms and you're really stepping into this future of entrepreneurship and fun and ease. And we need to know that. We need to embrace that. We need to celebrate and sit in that energy before we map out a plan, right? 
So whether you're specific or non-specific in human design, let's sit in that energy. If you have a specific human design, you can think about where you're going to live and what you're going to do and how much money you're going to earn and how many people you're going to impact and what it's going to look like to be a lifestyle entrepreneur. And if you're non-specific, you're going to feel that energy of excitement and ease and just feel the feelings of truly embracing being a lifestyle entrepreneur, leading with lifestyle and watching your business grow as you grow, as you enjoy life. Okay. So let's remember that first and foremost, if you're here on the show with me, (laughs) you are a lifestyle entrepreneur. So when we go into your marketing plan, we are going to lead with lifestyle. And the first step of mapping out your annual marketing plan is to calendar this. Okay. So we truly do want to calendar your shiz. So getting out the pens and paper now is the right time. And pop in there any like retreats that you're hosting or speaking gigs that you know about, but also your vacations and your long weekends and the weeks you want to go to a cabin and write your book. Put in all of those those things because I want you to have plenty of weeks where you're not launching something or on constantly. So mapping out the calendar and showing yourself when you're available for the business and when you're not. That is the first step. Now, I'm going to invite you to layer in another calendar here, which is astrology. And whether or not you follow astrology, I know you have other tools in your life that help you kind of navigate. Maybe it's like the school schedule for you if you have kids. It's like, okay, so I know in the summer we have less availability, like map that into your calendar as well. That could be one of the tools in your real life that you use that you want to infuse into your business. And for me, I use astrology in my real life to help me navigate week by week. I'm a big fan of Channy Nicholas, and you can check out her app below in the show notes as well. And she's got a great calendar of the new moons and the full moons and Mercury retrogrades, which honestly, from a marketing perspective, I'm going to encourage you to take note of Mercury retrogrades. If you are privy to astrology and you've known when a Mercury retrograde has been happening, you've probably experienced and noticed technology breakdowns, internet not working well, tech getting fumbly. And just take it from me, whether or not you've had your own experience with Mercury retrograde, let's just not launch things (laughs) during Mercury retrograde. Let's do our best to not host webinars during Mercury retrograde. There is plenty of time in the year to have virtual, amazing internet experiences. And also, let's just remember there's a way bigger gravity of the planets that also impact what's happening down here on our internet events. So take note of astrology happenings, if that's something that you already use in your own life. But truly, just getting this calendar outlined so you know basically what's happening for the year. And if you've been through this cycle before in your business, you probably know that you have annual events every October or every summer you have all of your clients come to visit you. You know, put those business things that you just know are part of your cadence on the calendar. Write it down. I want you to see it. No matter what your human design is, we know that writing things down is powerful. And this takes even goal setting to another level because we're actually starting to commit to it, to put it in a calendar. So do that now. Once you have a calendar outline, step number two is to choose your spotlight campaigns. Hannah, what's a spotlight campaign? I'm so glad you asked because this is truly one of my favorite things to do with our clients. We help you define and communicate what you care about more than what you sell. Now, this is the big secret that we all already know, but it's like, I don't know, especially female entrepreneurs, we do this thing where we know things for other people. Like, oh, of course, I know you are valuable and worthy. And of course, you're going to have four new clients this month. And then I look at myself and I'm like, I don't know, four new clients this month, right? Like our belief for other people can oftentimes be so different for ourselves. And so I know you might know this, but I want to remind you, friend, that we are living in a time and a place where people do not pay for things the way that they used to. I mean, the amount of money I used to spend on cable. Okay. My parents used to spend on cable. So we would have this like bundle of, you know, 500 channels. Like people don't pay for that anymore. We pay 
$8 a month to Netflix to have everything we want and we don't need commercials. And so we're not paying for commercials either. It's just such a different time. And so people are not paying for things. The truth is people will continue to be more connected to ideas and missions and impact than physical thing. First of all, because so much is living in the cloud. And second of all, because this is just where we are in consciousness, right? The new ideas that are happening, the innovation that's happening isn't necessarily tangible things anymore. It's ideas, it's virtual reality, it's artificial intelligence. And so you as a coach also need to remember that your packages and your programs are nice and important, but it's not necessarily why people care about you or are drawn to you. It's about having a personal brand that stands for something more than a program. So you, coach, what do you care about more than what you sell? What are you passionate about beyond the money? This is important for us to tune back into, especially when we live in the business and there's day-to-day things and there are invoices and there are teammates and you know, money, we love it. That's amazing. But from an outside perspective, if we're talking about your marketing, I want you to be magnetic and remarkable for a bigger idea than this is my coaching program. And this will help you ride the waves of whatever happens in the next 30 years of this, you know, age of Aquarius that we're stepping into. This will help you ride all of the waves. I've seen this myself. I've had a personal brand for almost 10 years and I've had more than 10 offers along the way. Yet I still have a base of people who are interested in the conversations that I'm facilitating. It hasn't always been about copywriting. It hasn't always been about marketing. It's changed. My offers are always changing. And in order to help your audience grow and evolve and stay your raving fan, we want to start raising and elevating the conversation to what you care about more than what you sell. So this is a big brainstorm conversation that we have with all of our clients every single quarter. We look at what's happening seasonally, what's happening with astrology, what's happening in society. We look at that. Okay, for example, it's summertime. So what do people care about right now? Now, client, what do you care about more than what you sell right now? And so many of the conversations we're having right now with our clients are spotlight campaigns such as every single day gets to be the best day of your life. And in the summertime, people really feel that. People really feel like they're maximizing their time, their energy, their connections. And so that's a spotlight campaign for one of our clients right now. This truth, this belief, this mission that she's on that every single day gets to be the best day of your life. Because these themes are going to inform how you show up throughout the year, what you create, what freebies you share, what offers you promote, right? But it doesn't come from this place of like, this is how much money I need to get in the door, right? Let's come from that feminine knowing, that divine intuition of these are the themes and the missions that I'm here to share because that is what's going to make you magnetic and remarkable. So you can do this for the entire year. Or you can do this one quarter at a time. We typically do this one quarter at a time with our clients because they're visionaries and they care about so many things. And so we want to be able to match truly where their business is at, where their audience is at, and identify these spotlight campaigns each quarter. And friends, this is going to make your content and everything that you're doing in your business so much easier because you have a through line. You have a guiding light of this is what we're talking about. This is what I want you to know. And remember, it's not just about repeating yourself, you know, saying the same thing all quarter, but it is so powerful for your audience to feel that through line because as visionaries, we're often idea people. We want to say this today and we want to share that tomorrow. And oh yeah, I'm hosting this free thing yesterday. And it's just like confusing to an audience who doesn't have the same perspective, doesn't have the same vision as we do. So if we can choose spotlight campaigns and you, and when you work with us, our team can help educate and bring your audience along to talk about and to discuss and to amplify what you care about more than what you sell. Because if they can get on board with you at that level, they're going to buy things from you. So identify and choose spotlight campaigns so that you can define and communicate what you care about to become even more magnetic than you already are. Step number three is to create your marketing tiers. T-I-E-R-S. No crying tears, okay? Only happy tears happen over here. (laughs) Um, So creating our marketing happy tears. (laughs) This is where we help our clients create a clear funnel that helps people go from who dis to please take my money. I am so ready to work with you. 
So this is where we focus all of your events and freebies around your spotlight campaigns. So think about emails, LinkedIn, podcasts, blogs, all the things you've created. I know you are a generator when it comes to having content for your business. So here's where we want to really like organize what you've got to, again, inspire and meet your ideal clients where they are at. There is a marketing formula that has been touted, tested, and shared for a long time. It's the 7 4 theory, rule, law, idea. And this is truly based on human psychology and how we know people make decisions. 7 4 Seven touch points. 11 hours, four places. In order to pre-enroll people and to get them going from who this, who's this random person? I don't know, to oh my gosh, I'm so ready to work with you. Most people need seven touch points of you communicating with them, whether they see your LinkedIn post and then they get five emails and then they have a call with you. Boom, seven. 11 hours. So this is where People no longer just see you on Instagram. They're like, oh, she's legit. Great. Yeah. Okay. Done. Here we go. But people are doing research because there's so much content. Thank you, AI. We are now becoming better sifters and sorters. And 11 hours is this magic number that if people can spend 11 hours binging your content, they feel like they're dating you. They are falling in love with you just by mere exposure. And also they've shown a lot of commitment, right? So do you have 11 hours of podcasts and free content or blogs or videos or things that people can spend quality time with you? And then the last thing is four places. So like I said, people are no longer trusting. Oh, I just saw you on Instagram and okay, let's do this. They're looking around, they're Googling you. And so you wanna make sure that you have a strong online presence that you're seeing in multiple places. And it's especially best if you have other people talking about you as well. So If you're the only one talking about you, it doesn't go quite as far as if you've been on other people's podcasts and other people have written testimonials for you and other people have talked about you on their summit and other publications have printed your name. Those are just amazing things to make sure you have some of so that you're checking the boxes. Seven touch points, 11 hours, four locations. 7-11-4 is a general consensus that we want to get to when we think about marketing and your three tiers. Feminine principles, masculine structure. It's the reason our feminine marketing boutique clients have fallen in love with their annual marketing strategies. And it's also why they're attracting so many high vibe, hell yes clients. If you want to learn how to create an annual marketing strategy for your business and ditch all the resistance to finally getting a plan in place, circle July 11th, 12 p.m. on your calendar and come to our free live event, Radiant Vision. Map out your big picture marketing strategy. We'll show you how to put all the right marketing tiers in place so that you can create a cohesive funnel that keeps your community engaged and inspired to take action. So stop creating more content and coming up with new programs without a plan and start mapping out a big picture strategy that will help you focus your time and energy on all the right things. We have three tiers for all of our clients. We've talked about this on another podcast with our director of marketing, Lindsay. So we'll talk about this shortly here today. But now that we have like the calendar set aside and we have general spotlight campaigns, now let's pull out a new sheet of paper and list out like all of the freebies. And every time I have clients do this, they get like overwhelmed and they typically ask their assistant to go do this for them, which I totally support because over the years we create so much stuff. Like if I go into my convert kit, there are dozens of opt-in pages of freebies and workbooks and events. And oh my gosh, there's so much content we've created. So I say, look back at like the last three years of what freebies you've, you've used or created and then take a look at what you have. Which of those align with your spotlight campaign? For example, I used to have a webinar that was like the five daily habits of being a six-figure coach. If my spotlight campaign was about vacation and freedom, I probably wouldn't choose that one because it's pretty masculine about like, check these boxes every day, consistency, these are the five things. So if I'm showing up this summer with like a spotlight campaign about the vitalness of vacation, that's not going to be the freebie I choose. I'm definitely going to choose a freebie about delegating to win back mental real estate. 
So you're smart, you're creative. What are the freebies that fit underneath this spotlight campaign that you have created? And we want to slot them into the three tiers. Tier one is your opt-in. And this is that first micro agreement. We want people to say yes to us often and excitedly. And so what is that easy breezy, oh yeah, yes, I will get your checklist or I will take your seven minute meditation or I will do the quiz to find out what cheese I am. (laughs) Those easy tier one opt-ins is what you want to choose one of your freebies for or create a new one that's allowed for sure. And the key here is to make the first experience people have with you effortlessly uplifting and remarkable easy, inspiring, feels like they got something. Which of your freebies is an easy tier one opt-in? And then you can put this on all of your platforms. So make sure this opt-in is popping up on your website and linked on your Instagram and you're sharing it regularly on LinkedIn or wherever those places that you're showing up widely and freely. This is where we want to plug in that tier one easy, effortless opt-in. And this is the opt-in that you will use for the quarter because it will align with your spotlight campaign. It will align with human psychology and what touch points people need to go through. And it will lead people through your funnel. So this is top of funnel tier one, getting people to say yes, join your email list, take that next micro agreement into your world to get on your email list. So tier number two are the things that you share with your email list, okay? And y'all know. I got a love affair with the email list because it's the most intimate place on the internet. And if you want to tell me that people aren't using email marketing, then I'm going to ask you how many hours a day do you check your email? How much time do you spend on there? How many people do you connect with on email? We're using it, okay? It's not going anywhere. So an email list is a beautiful and intimate space to facilitate these relationships that you want to be building with your ideal clients. Remember, we're dating, we're moving people forward, and an email list is a great way to continue to leverage these relationship principles that is feminine energy in a lot of ways. So here's what you need to know. Humans are hardwired to trust and connect with faces, voices, body language, and words directly from a person. We're geared to associate with people and talk about them. So if you can share your voice, your value, your pictures of yourself, link to videos, right? Like really using email as this, hey, I'm in your inbox. I'm a real person. We're having a conversation and sharing value and your stories. You will be expanding your personal brand in a way that isn't just about getting the next one client. This is about creating a remarkable, trustworthy brand that people will naturally gravitate towards and talk about. Being remarkable means that people talk about you. And in the world of business, that's what we want. What if your entire business was just like referrals and word of mouth, right? It might be up to to this point. And so how can you amplify and maximize more people sharing your work on your behalf? Well, getting people into your world, tier one, opting into your email list. And then with the email list, continuing to show up with opportunities and more places that they can engage and fall in love with you. This is the power of an email list. The other thing that we're going to be doing with tier two, the email list, is asking our audience to signal interest. So email is not necessarily the place to do long form sales anymore. You know, you can invite people, you can educate people on the ways to work with you. But what we really want to use tier two value in your email list for is asking people to signal interest. So we love doing client surveys or asking people to hit reply on this email or fill out a form. Let us know if you want to join the wait list, right? Because an email is like truly this living, breathing conversation and relationship where you can quickly get feedback on your ideas instead of like, okay, this is what we launched. Like, let's hope. I mean, if you've heard me talk about launches before, don't love it. (laughs) I want to know things are going to work. I want to test things out before just creating, building, and launching something. So in tier two, this is where you get to advance the conversation, use all the email list strategies that we teach you on this show to show up and expand your personal brand and start to get those lovely, enamored, raving fans behind your personal brand. Because eventually we're going to invite them to tier three. And tier three is what we call our feminine funnel demonstration. So demonstrations are tier three, which is really the secret sauce to this feminine funnel. 
which is inviting people into your world, actually have an, ex an experience with you. And it, there's so many things I love about this demonstration model, mostly because you get to stop going for just one customer at a time. So this whole marketing plan truly is about getting volume and the masses to resonate with your spotlight campaign and then say yes to your easy opt-in and then engage with the value on your email list or whatever they choose to do after they're in your world. If they become a podcast subscriber, that could be your tier two as well. But then to collect these people and gather and invite them into an actual experience of transparency and value we encourage you to host a demonstration once a quarter that is directly related to your spotlight campaign. So let's just say Hannah's spotlight campaign for the summer is about the vitality and the necessity of vacation. Then I'm going to host something in the summer that affords you freedom or helps you get more vacation or helps you map out your annual marketing plan so you can take time off. <laughs> Y'all see me walking my walk over here? Okay. And so if we can call a group into our demonstration every quarter, then we're educating, we're inviting, and we're showing people what the right next steps are. So you've seen these things, right? You know, you can host something like an open house, a webinar, a five-day challenge, but I really want you, and you've heard this on the show before, to think about getting people results, even in your free demonstration. Because this whole feminine marketing funnel put together has consistently brought people to demonstrations who are qualified, engaged, have their videos on, and want to take action because they've been engaging with your spotlight campaign. They said yes to your opt-in and really liked the quiz result they got. And then they've been continuing to get value from your email list or your podcast or whatever your tier two opportunity is. And now they're showing up to a demonstration to actually get coaching from you or actually walk through an exercise with you. Again, this is not like a marketing, okay, here are my five steps. Okay, no, pitch, 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 hire me. No, this is a true experience. This is where people show up ready, invested. They've done their research. They're not coming to you to pick your brain or act like this is going to be for free. No, we know that people who go through these three tiers are qualified. So what demonstration, what experience can you invite people into? connected to your spotlight campaign each quarter. For us, it's really simple. I just choose to host an event every three to four months. I put it in the calendar. It's already mapped out in step number one. And then as we choose the spotlight campaigns and we start showing up with content and blogs start getting written and podcasts start getting written on this topic, my personality is a type that I'm like, oh, ta-da, action brings clarity. That's the talk I'm going to give. And we usually plan about six weeks in advance. So it's not like you have to know everything you're going to do in your demonstration. Um, we usually just plan about six weeks in advance. We make simple landing pages and we ask people to start registering so they can get it on their calendar as well. Okay, so we're talking about the main funnel here, creating our marketing tiers. Tier one, the easy opt-in. Tier two, the ongoing conversation and back and forth engagement. And then tier three, the demonstration. And while this might feel like a lot, I hope that in this, the beginning of this step, <laughs> that you saw how much you already have. This is not about creating more content. This is about just putting it together in a strategic way. So that when these tiers are outlined, you have a sense of what's happening this quarter. You have a sense of where you're leading people. It not only makes sense for you, but it makes sense for your audience. So now that these structures are in place, let's talk about step number four, which is expand your brand. Here at the Feminine Marketing Boutique, we help you focus on exponential growth activities that will help you increase your exposure, such as building a referral program, building strategic partnerships, writing a book, starting another podcast, being featured in media publications. These are the things that you actually need to be focusing on, friend. Because the first three steps are essential to get you out of the day-to-day -day marketing weeds of asking yourself, what do I post today? You need to be asking yourself way better questions than, did I email my list? What am I doing today? Have I messaged them? Do we have an email for this? Like, those are not the questions you need to be asking yourself. You need to be asking yourself, who can help me promote this? Who can share this idea more widely? Who can help me get this in front of groups? Again, I've hinted at this, but I really want you to stop thinking about going for the next one client and start thinking about going for the next groups of clients. 
Because when you have these tiers outlined, you can take it so many places. It's not that you're only sharing your tier one opt-in to your own LinkedIn audience. I want you to take that opt-in to lunch and learns in your local community and masterminds that other people are hosting and do a collaboration with someone else in your industry, right? This is the feminine approach, collaboration. Who can help? Who else can share this? And so if you can focus on expanding your brand, building your network, and starting to offer these freebies that you have, you're going to start to welcome more and more of your people into your world, not by working harder, not by DMing more, but just by leveraging your relationships and sharing these tiers that you already have outlined, right? So who can help you? That is step number four, expanding your brand and think about collaborations. And then you can go into all sorts of, you know, swipe copy for them to share about you and referral messaging to set up partnerships so you guys can send people to each other. It's just like so much fun that we get to have when we think about expanding your brand because this is where I really see you as a visionary lighting up, expanding your ideas, asking better questions, not asking, what are we doing today? What's my brand? What do I say? No, no. Now we're asking questions of who can share this? Who can publish my book? Where are my groups? of clients. And now that you're vibing and we're in this visionary seat, step number five is to amplify your feminine brilliance. (sighs) Doesn't that just feel sparkly? I hope so. I want you to feel sparkly in this process because my whole mission here is to give you the freedom to focus on raising your vibe. Follow what feels good. Go with the flow. Trust the divine timing. Play, vacation, ideate, right? This is my whole mission in everything that we do at the Feminine Marketing Boutique and even in my whole dream life is real life belief. I want you to be able to show up and shine and amplify your feminine brilliance. So continuing to pour your creativity and intuition into your marketing messages because you know it aligns, you know there's a strategy, you know there's a common thread because you're just connecting it back to your spotlight campaign. And truly, your job as a visionary It's to raise your consciousness, friends. It's not to hustle harder, like figure out your brand, right? This is why you have a nimble and strong team around you. It's to let them shine in their zone of genius, which could be writing the copy for you or building the landing page or setting up your calendar so that you get to live in your queendom. I call it my vacation vortex of amplifying your feminine brilliance and doing the mindset work. It's work and it can be fun, right? So reading the books, making the connections, showing up from a place of trust and ease instead of scramble and hustle, right? That's what doing this work gets us to. Now, I'm not saying mindset is the last thing. Absolutely not. I just know you. I know you've done a lot of the good stuff. I know you're vibing at a high level right now. You are a lifestyle entrepreneur. It's possible you're on your way. Now it's about mapping this strategy out so that you have a common theme in your business, in your mental real estate, and your audience can resonate and align with you and your personal brand and what you care about. And also take the action, opt into tier one, follow up with tier two value and joy. And if you're still not a client yet, then you better be at tier three demonstration because I am going to change your life. That is the energy we bring to our annual marketing plan in our feminine marketing funnels. And if this is something that you're like, I got it, I see it, I'm so excited. What do I say next? Or what do I post? Like, that's exactly what we do at the Feminine Marketing Boutique is we actually write all of this and we build all of this and we help you just skip to step four and to step five. So if that is something you're interested in, and then you know where to find us. Use the links below because we can help you do all of these things with ease and sparkle. So just a quick recap. Step number one, calendar your shiz. Have fun with this. We help you map out your astrology, vacation, speaking gigs, retreats, launches, books, new products, all of that. We plug into the calendar. Then step number two, choose your spotlight campaigns. We help you define and communicate what you care about more than what you sell so that you can be a magnetic brand that continues to be remarkable. Step number three, create your marketing tiers. 
So this is where we create a clear funnel from do I know you to please take my money and focus all of your events and freebies around your spotlight campaigns. Again, email, LinkedIn, podcasts, blogs, articles. I know you've got a lot. So outline your marketing tiers based on your spotlight campaigns. Step number four, expand your brand. This is where you get to focus on exponential growth activities that will increase your exposure, such as building strategic partnerships, writing a book, starting a podcast, developing a referral program, enrolling clients, showing up in groups, so that step number five, you are amplifying your feminine brilliance. We give you the freedom to focus on raising your vibe, following what feels good, going with the flow, creating, and receiving. Receiving is where you are meant to live, my friend. It's all energy. And when you can trust these structures plus divine timing, show up with your feminine brilliance, you receive. You receive aligned clients. You receive surprise money. You receive pings of inspiration. And that's what I want for you. So get those gel pens to work and set up your annual marketing plan and If you want to see this in video form, if you want us to do this on your behalf with you, if you want us to join your team, then devour all of the links below. And I also want to shout out the book Oversubscribed, which highlights some of these ideas and can also walk you through more of this idea of becoming a remarkable brand, no matter the season, no matter what's happening in the economy, the book Oversubscribed talks about some of these ideas, and we'll be talking about this even more in depth in the video replay that is happening this summer. So truly devour the links below and let me know how this goes for you. And if you would love our assistance, we're here for you. Okay, so after all that talk, you and I both know that action brings clarity. So here's what to do next. Go to www.dfycopywriting.org slash free to get your current marketing appraised by the Done For You Marketing team. That's us. (laughs) We want to help you lay all the puzzle pieces of your brand and business on the table so you can see exactly where you're totally on point with your messaging and where you need to zhuzh it up to get you even better results and more clients. And if you got a gem out of this episode specifically, please let us know. Screenshot, share to Instagram and tag Hannah Hermanson underscore and make sure all of your biz besties know about this episode. Lastly, if you're getting consistent value from our show, please take two minutes to leave us a review and let us know what you're loving and what you love to see more of. We love seeing you and we'll be back here next week with another episode.